What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, we're going to cover Sand Reapers. And why are we covering Sand Reapers? We are covering them because I have an out-of-dated video on Sand Reapers on my channel. And I, uh, I wanted to start the series again. So we're going to start with Sand Reapers and we're going to go through all the pets. So if you have a suggestion for a pet that I should cover in a video, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. Basically, there are four different types of Sand Reapers. There's green, orange, red, and the queen. So we will start with the little green guy and we're just going to look at the stats of a level zero pet and then we'll go on to a level 20 so you can see strength is zero agility one vitality zero accuracy one and survival zero with 747 in hit points if we move on to the orange one the same thing and 747 in hit points the exact same as the other guy and then if we move on to this guy uh you will see exact same there 747 hit points and the same attribute points it changes when we get to the queen here and the queen has six in strength six in agility two in vitality one in accuracy and zero in survival with 2025 hit points moving on to our level 20 guys our little green guy here he has 17 in strength, 11 in agility, 11 in vitality, 7 in accuracy, and 29 in survival with 3,244 hit points. I'm not going to cover the perks or the green numbers because that's all going to be random. Moving on to the orange guy here, we have uh, 15 in strength, 16 in agility, 19 in vitality, 10 in accuracy, and 19 in survival, 6,197 hit points. Moving on to the red guy, he has 10 in strength, 22 in agility, 17 in vitality, 10 in accuracy, and 24 in survival with 4,607 hit points. And if we move over to the queen here, she has 27 in strength, 29 in agility, 12 in vitality, 10 in accuracy, and 18 in survival with 4,000 434 hit points i think this is rather low for what you could get out of a sand reaper queen so there are two ways you can get these pets you can get them in egg form or you can get them in locust form and i'm going to show you how to get them in both of those forms if you're not sure how to take care of eggs i do have a video on my channel explaining egg care and i will link that in the description as well as in the top right hand corner of this video so the first place that we're going to go is where you get the Sand Reaper eggs. And we are out here at Floatsum. It is right here on the map. This is where we're at. And what you're going to want to do is basically run right up over here. You would climb this, climb this, and then get up into this area here. Now, this area is not friendly. They are hostile, so you will need to deal with all of the enemies that are here. And you have a handful of these black hand uh, spy archers and fighters that you will have to clear out. But this is the guy that you want to talk to right here, Ignatius the Greedy. And you will be able to buy Sand Reaper eggs for 10 gold coins. The next location that we're going to is actually the Sunken City. So you're going to want to come to here on the map, right in that area there. And you have to interact with this boat. Once you interact with that boat, you are teleported out here to the sunken city. So you can uh, run all the way through the dungeon uh, the way that you want to. You can go up through here, whatever you want. I am going to show you the quick way to it. So if we come down here and around, we are going to head to, I believe it's this one right here. Basically, if you follow the dungeon, you jump off in the water right there. And then we'll just swim down. And it is actually that one there. And the way you remember this one is it actually has this black uh, smoke there. That is noxious gas underneath the water. And 
you want to get to this point right here with the gate you open that up you will have to kill uh, this guy here so we'll kill him now these guys that are uh, walking around on the ground they are hostile as well but they are the guys that we want so if I deactivate cloak mode you can see they come to attack me now what you want to do is aim at their mouths and just spam the interact button now this is a pretty difficult thing to actually get done you can see I picked one up so far and I'm having a hard time there we go picked another one up and another one and you just want to look all around and spam the interact button until it actually lets you pick them up and there you go you can see that we have five six seven eight of them on us uh, right there so come down here with a bearer or in an encumbrance mode and take home as many as you want the next place where you can get them is right here at the pens in the volcano and it's this spot where this fighter is standing if we just kill this spot we should get one to spawn and there you go guys we got one to spawn we did have to kill quite a few people in order to get him to spawn here he is considered a mini boss so keep that in mind you can see he has 5500 health but if you just walk up to him and press the interact button you will pick him up there he is in our inventory so not somewhere where i'd say come and farm them but it is a location that if you're running by you can get one so let's go over why you might want one of these guys in your arsenal so you can see this is our level zero guy he hasn't been leveled up at all and uh we are going to jump out of the clan and let him attack us so if we uncloak here we will let this party get started you see i have 608 hit points there and that's the attack that we're looking for you can see with eight poison he is dealing 45 damage points with poison now it stacks all the way up to 10 you can see there and that is 63 points of damage every second now 63 points of damage every second is quite a bit however you can counteract that damage with potions or elixirs that rid you of poison the other way that you can do it is if we take all of our points and we dump them into survival and we're just looking to get to the fourth perk in survival so as we click away here there we go the fourth perk in survival i'm going to put some in encumbrance just so i can walk around with the stuff that i have on me there we go and we will see exactly how much damage he does to us now so if we uncloak here we are buddy what you got and there's the move that we're looking for right there you can see it did five hits every time he hit me however the poison is not doing anything because we have the antidote of one which is going to negate his poison effect now something that you should note is that their attacks are very slow so they are not something that can uh, take on a pvp interaction on their own this is something that you would use in a group setting so i also want to show you guys that the sand reaper queen when she does her special effect it does absolutely no more than the other one did so we have a single poison from the hit oh come on lady let's get the proper one you can see she is doing quite a bit of damage with her main strike but there you go 63 points of damage 630 points in 10 seconds and i don't care how fast you are with your uh, antidote for poison you're at least taking 63 points in damage when you get hit with that thing so there you go guys that's the information that i wanted to share with you about sand reapers now if you have a specific pet that you want me to highlight in another video leave that in the comment section below i hope you've enjoyed this video as much as i've enjoyed making it i'll catch you next time peace
I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. Thank you to all my subscribers for your continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you don't miss out on my next upload. There's a couple of videos on the screen. You can follow me over there to continue the conversation.